Okay, let me start the recording so the other will be able to do this activity. Remember, today we have an evaluation, okay? Uh, ba, 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 let me see, okay. Uh, I want you to go, everyone, to NEOS. NEOS. NEOS platforms. Go to NEOS. Uh, go to NEOS. Uh, NEOS. Uh, platform. Now, uh, NEOS platform, you will find an envelope like this. Let me see if I can open it. Let me see. Uh -huh. You see an envelope like this, like the one you saw last trimester, remember? Where you have to load up a document. Well, this is it. You're going to use it? Okay, go ahead. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me see. Uh -huh. So, this is the activity that you have to. You have to do guys, okay? Now, this is the mind map. You have to do a mind map about uh, all the chapter we have studied so far. Okay, the, the, the mind map is about the Italian Renaissance, the Renaissance beyond Italy, and now we are finishing, tomorrow we'll finish this Reformation of Christianity. Okay, that's the last uh, chapter that we are going to discuss tomorrow and, and you have to include it in this mind map okay now you have you have until today hold on okay you have until from okay the activity is from today until Sunday okay you have until Sunday to uh, hand in this document know why it is not it's too slow okay let me go back to Bye, Daniel. you love arriving late you enjoy arriving late 9.54 okay um, I have a class. question excuse me I have a question okay okay don't worry let, let me explain everything and then I, I'm gonna give you some time to ask me questions. Okay, so okay. activity you have to you have until you you wanna start today and then you have until the due date is July 26. July 26 is Sunday, guys. So you have until Sunday to hand in okay until Sunday to hand in this document. Uh so remember I gave you already 26 is Sunday, like it says over here, Sunday, do Domingo 26, okay. So remember, I, I gave you already this, uh, some website for you to visit in case you wanna do it, in case you wanna do it uh, using internet, okay? So that's up to you. You can do it by hand, with color pencil, with pencil, markers, anything you like, or you can use this site over here that I, 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 I handed to you two weeks ago. <laughs> Two weeks ago, and over here I have some information about um, what is a mind map over here, what is a mind map, how to create a mind map, and these are different websites where you can create uh, your mind map. It's not working. Come on. So that's up to you. I'm just giving you some options, guys, okay? I'm giving you options for you to create the mind map, okay? These are some websites. If you enter, you have only to register, you don't have to pay for this. You have to register and then you, you start doing your uh, your mind map. These are some examples that I that I think you can you can you can find different examples if you go to Google and then if you type uh, mind map over here, mind map, mind map, uh, so over there, mind map. So you'll find different kind of mind map like this ones over here different kind of mind maps in order for you to create the activity that I that you have to hand, hand it in. Uh, the due date is on Sunday, guys, okay? So anyway, I just wanna, if, in case you, you don't have a, a very clear idea, then I'm gonna play a, a video that talks about how to create step-by-step -step duration to create mind maps. Don't worry, I'm gonna give you at the end, the, the last five minutes, I'm going to give you time for you to ask me all questions that you need, you think you need. Okay, guys? So don't worry. Okay? Let's watch this video. 
science in day eight of the tiny steps study challenge today we are going to convert some of your notes into a mind map a mind map is one way to condense your notes and help you visualize your notes you can easily convert two or three pages of notes into a single mind map which can you be used to help you prepare for a test later we are going to create a single simple mind map. First, find a page of your recent notes from one of your classes. Second, create a mind map from these notes. Here are a couple guidelines about mind maps. First, place the main topic in the middle. You can write the topic or you can draw it. Next, create branches from this main topic in the middle and these are your subtopics and then you can create branches from your subtopics you can draw pictures or you can just write it out remember there are not any rules create something that works for you some people like to have lots of pictures other people like to have a minimum amount of pictures or maybe no pictures you can also use a program called mindmapfree.com that can help you create your mind map. Once a mind map is created, you can use the mind map to help you study for your next test. That's it for today. As always, remember to check the video notes below for more resources and get started on creating a mind map. They are helpful. This is another one could help you to create your mind map. Mind mapping is a is a tool that will help you generate ideas quickly about any challenge that you're facing or or any problem that you you need to solve. You all have done some brainstorming before. You know, you sit around a table in a group, you throw ideas on the table, uh, you you generate awareness about an issue or about a problem. There's no criticism. Well, mind mapping is essentially the same thing, except you can do it by yourself. Let's take this challenge. Challenge of how to get a job. Well, here's how it works. You, you draw a circle on a piece of paper. And in the circle, you write your challenge or your problem. Get a job. Now, what you do is you time yourself for about two minutes, maybe three minutes. And in that three minutes, you generate as many ideas as you can about your particular situation and how to get a job. Let, let's time me for this, uh, this exercise. Uh, go. Okay, let's see, get a job. Well, first location. Uh, location brings the idea of mind, of, 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 of family. Uh, cost of living. Notice I'm drawing rays off of the circle. Uh, let's see, oh, get a job. How about money? How much money should do I want to make? So I'm drawing a symbol now for money, not writing it out because I want to speed the time up. Money, money, uh, salary negotiation. I need to know about how to do that. Okay. What field? What field do I want to concentrate in? Let me write that down. Hmm. What else? Network. I've got a network. Who should I network with? Evan just got out a couple of months ago. I have his number. I'm going to give him a call. Education. What kind of education do I need? I mean, is it going to be a trade that I'm going to get? Is there a certification that I need to get? Let's see. Speaking of money, what about the GI Bill? I need to make sure I have that information as well so I know what assets I'm dealing with. Everybody's talking about their resume. I got to write that down. Research. I've got to do research. The internet's full of information. I got to figure out how to tap into that information. That reminds me, job boards. Everybody's talking about job boards. And the interview. I got to write down the interview. Okay, what else can I say about getting a job? Uh, how, how about, how about looking for help on post? Help on post. Where would I go? Education center. And I'm out of time. But that's not where you stop. 
Now that you've got everything on paper, what you can do is you can take these ideas and organize them. Looks like there's a lot of stuff here about looking for information. I'm gonna call that research. That's my first category. I'm gonna write down networking, who, uh, Evan, I gotta write Evan's name down. I didn't think of networking events, but now that I think about it, I'm gonna write that down, networking events. Job boards, that's part of the research. Let me write that down. What's another category that surfaces with two or more items on the mind map? Location. Let me write down location. What goes into that? Oh, cost of living. Family needs, I need to consult with the family. Uh, what about extended family? Let me write that down too. Another category is education. Let me write down education. GI Bill goes under that. Certification or trade goes under that. Let's see what's left. <laughs> How about money? <laughs> money, yeah, that's important. Under that goes disability, salary, and salary negotiation. Okay, well now you can see that in a couple of minutes, I was able to generate some ideas. Then I was able to go back and look at what I had written down and organize it into categories. Let me give you one more step, and this is a bonus. You can prioritize these things. Now for me, I think as I prioritize these things, I think the first thing I would think about is what I needed to support the family. So I think salary would be number one. I think second would be location. My kids have gotten used to where they've grown up and that's kind of what I would consider next. Third would be research because I need to do a lot of research to figure out. And fourth would be what education I would need. What's happened here in a few minutes? I've generated some ideas about an issue that's very important to me, and I've done it by myself. I've taken those ideas and I've organized them into categories, and, I, and I've prioritized those categories to a degree to prioritize the work and the way in which I attack them. It's a great tool. It saved me about half the time in preparation. When I write something, or when I prepare a briefing, or when I prepare a presentation like this. Now it's your turn. I've done my mind map. I want to see you do yours. Okay, okay, guys. Esa hoja que él hizo ahí al final, eso también hay que hacerlo. No, sir, that's it's a different, this a different idea. There are different, different ways to create mind mapping is a okay. So anyway, I, I gave you different options. These are examples of mind maps. Because there are three topics, for instance, let me grab this one, for instance. Because there are three topics over here. Let me go back to the class on mind map. Okay. There are three top, uh, well, three chapters, right? These are three, this is one chapter, Italian Renaissance. Okay, let's, let's uh, give you some idea. For instance, over here, you could, so because there are three topics, should be three branches, right? Tres rama, una, por ejemplo, dos, y otra por acá, tres, okay? So the first topic should be the Italian Renaissance, so over here. So from here is gonna get some other branches with the ideas or the main ideas or what happened during that chapter. So the same thing you have to do it with the other chapter. The other chapter is the Renaissance beyond Italy, Italy, right? The other one is the Renaissance beyond Italy. So it's gonna be this, for instance, this is gonna be the branch that talks about this. And over here you're gonna, Distribute several branches that talk different, all the topics that were uh, discussed in this uh, chapter. And the last one is the reformation that we still haven't finished. This one, the, re the reformation of Christianity. And tomorrow we're going to finish that chapter. It could be over here, over here. And then you have to create and you have to use different uh, diagrams or pictures or whatever you need. So that's, that's up to you, that's your creativity. But anyway, uh, I need what I need you to do is uh, to uh, download, because over here there is a rubric that I'm going to use to evaluate your um, your your uh, mind map. Over here is the rubric. This is the rubric. So if we open it, and then you'll see uh, this rubric. 
I'm going to evaluate these guys. Neatness and presentation. If my man was well presented and all the information is easy to understand. So that's gonna, it's gonna be that if I, when, as soon as I see, I'll, I'll be able to understand what you're trying to, to do in that MIMA. Use of images or symbols. Most categories are enhanced with symbols, uh, with simple symbols of diagram. If we go back to this example over here, you see that there are some symbols, picture things like that, okay? Small things. Okay, now let's go back to the rubric. Uh, what else? Uh, colors. As you see, all the mind maps, in order to make the difference, they use different kind of color. Look, this is on a one color, different color. So they say separate. Everything is one color. So that way it'd be easy for you. Oh my God. It, was e it would be easy for you to understand your mind map. Got it, guys? Now, and the last one I think is. Uh, understand the mind map demonstrate a great understanding of graphic by including at the most important elements okay guys now as i i did the same suggestion to the other students i i said okay the first thing you have to do is underline the main ideas the the the, 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 the important things that you think uh it has to be in your mind map, remember a mind map is a document that you have to, it's, it's for you to understand and study in order to present a test. So that's a mind map. It's like the other one that we used to do over there uh, when we were studying uh, the Cornell notes. It's like a Cornell note, but this another kind of strategy in order for you to study. So uh, try to uh, include in your mind map the most, the main thing, the important elements that took place during those, um, during those, uh, during those days in that in that uh, period of time. Okay, and punctuality. That's the last. So everything is 25 points. 25 points. Got it, guys. Now, uh, now I'm gonna open this camera and I'm gonna try to absorb or try to clarify any doubts that you have. Now, this is the time. Questions, what's your question? Teacher, I have a yes. question. Open your camera, I can see you, I need to see you. Hi, just as a regular prophet. I don't mind, come on, move, move, move. Um, uh -huh. Prophet, yes. I have a yes. question. My question is if it has to be in a paper or in word? That's up to you. I give you different. I give. I, I give you different options. Different options. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, you can do it uh, in a piece of paper, in a white sheet of paper, uh, with pencil, color pencil marker, whatever you like, or you can use the. the you look nice. Don't worry, Sima. You look. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you can use the, the 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 size that I gave you. That's why I give you. I I just try to help you out. Okay. Because I have heard that there are some students who said that, teacher, can I do it in, in PowerPoints? I don't know if in PowerPoint there is an option to create mind maps. I, I, I don't remember right now. But I don't want I, it has to be only one presentation, only one, one, one slides. It doesn't have to be several slides. It has to be, everything has to be on one slide. So if you think... And do it. I don't mind. Yes. For the three sections, it has to be one page. No, 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 no. Este. Look, look. Has to be something like this one. Has to. Everything has to be. This is a mind map. This is a mind map. Ah, ah, Simon. Okay. Sí, profe, pero o sea, por ejemplo, el centro sería el primer sexo. No, 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 no. Ah, el centro sería el nombre del chapter. Of. No, 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 no. Okay, what is the main what is the main topic? What we talk, what we are talking about here in this chapter? Uh, the Renaissance. The Renaissance. Renaissance. So yeah. it means that over here has to be the Renaissance in the middle, and over here goes the other branches. Now the first branches is the Renaissance in Italy. The other branch should be the uh, Renaissance beyond Italy, and the last one is the Reformation of Christianity. So it should be three branches, and in the main goes the the Renaissance. Oh, ah, okay, okay, okay. Got something it. like that. Got it? Thank you. Okay. Question, guys. Any questions? Now is the time. Shoot, shoot. 
Any questions? As I said, guys, you can do it either online, because there are some websites that you can create uh, mind maps, or you can do it by hand. Okay, and then in order Pre to... Pregunta, profe. Yes, go. Lo puedo hacer en PowerPoint. I don't know. Look, look. Uh, o sea, está, está en nuestra creatividad. Yes, it's your creative. But everything okay. has, you have to show me only one, one, one document like this, not several. No son, en PowerPoint tiene varios slides. No, it has to be only one slide. Este es un mind map. En un mind map solamente representa todo en una sola página. No me vas a representar varias slides. No, no, no. Ok, Pinto. Has to be only one. Pinto. Are we clear? Profe, no soy yo. Profe? <laughs> yes. Excuse me. Soy yo, Daniela, profe. Daniela fue la que habló. Okay, okay, Daniela. Okay, yes. Is there any other question, guys? Now is the time. Shoot. Hasta qué hora el domingo? <laughs> Sunday. Pero qué hora? O sea, medianoche, en la mañana. No, midday, midday. Ah, ok, perfecto. O sea, hasta las 11.59. Yes, sir. Questions, guys. Come on, Marion. Any questions? Cristel. Sara Sauceda. Questions. Chum. Brittany. Mo. Cruz. Arturo Barrios. David Pérez. Kowani. Raúl Carrión. Okay, guys. Okay, then if you don't have any questions, anyway. And now I want to.